Hello everyone, Jack here. Welcome to a short review of Gas Station Vacation, where we see the Patrick Star Show take an unusual turn as it highlights the conditions of a lower class family going on a bargain basement vacation. Okay, okay, I'm kidding about the second part of that. The Star family are just simpletons. But we are going to review this week's episode of the Patrick Star Show today. So the Star family decides to go on a vacation to a resort that they saw on the TV, and we get treated to a commercial of an actual resort. But then we find out that the commercial was brought to you by another commercial for a gas station, and the stars think that the gas station called Gasland is a vacation location. So the 11 minute episode is spent with the star family treating the gas station like it is some kind of amusement park. Bunny uses the gas nozzle like a carnival game, Patrick throws a bunch of food in the microwave oven at the mini mart, and Cecil takes pictures like a tourist. And to add to the insanity, the entire family goes into the car wash without their boat. And yes, the gas station attendant calls it a boat wash, even though it is clearly labeled as a car wash. And you gotta admit, it was good to hear a waltz of the flowers when the family was in the wash. It added an extra layer to the show over the usual surreal music, like the theme you hear when the fish are looking in on the stars. Yeah, the stars treat it like some kind of spa resort, and Bunny and Cecil even take a dip in essential oils after their wax while Grandpa and the kids play golf. For some reason, the stars brought the pet toilet along for the vacation, which was pretty quirky. Patrick left him in the restroom with the other toilets, which eventually leads to an encounter with a recurring Spongebob character, Marvin the Dog Catcher. And like the other characters that are not Spongebob, Sandy, Squidward, Patrick, and Squidina, he doesn't appear to be younger at all. I guess they decided to go with recognizability with the less common characters instead of the big ones, but it's an approach that I agree with because I'm not really fond of the redesigns for Squidward and Spongebob, for example. But you know, the deal for Marvin, he again is the butt of the joke as he gets swirled by the toilet. Yeah, this episode has a lot of toilet humor. The one thing that is unique about this episode of the Patrick Star Show is that it revolves around the family annoying an individual. In this case, it is the gas station attendant. This type of plot has been played with a little with Patrick and Grandma Tentacles, but we haven't seen a full-blown episode quite like this yet. The gas station attendant even gave me Ren and Stimpy vibes for some reason. And the scene where he gets fed up with the Star family after they climb the Gasland Mountain is pure gold. It's both disturbing and hilarious. I'm surprised we haven't seen more of this so far as it worked really well here. It's kind of like an Animaniacs type of plot, but for some reason it works for the Star family, who are oblivious to their doing anything wrong. Well, the obvious exception here is Grandpa, who is fully aware that the family is messing with other people, and he clearly enjoys partaking in the festivities. And then there's Squidina, who plays the role of an event planner, but we also see the little kid's side of her as she follows the lead with what the others are doing. So Gas Station Vacation is definitely worth watching at least one time. It's too kooky to simply look away from. Yeah, one critique you might say is that Bunny and Cecil are really, really dumb. But that's pretty much par for the course by now. And when I mean dumb, I mean that the ending of the episode had them deal with an empty gas tank at a gas station. And they decide to push the car away instead of refilling it. You can call that really stupid. Or you could look at it as a statement on the diminishing purchasing power of the American family due to not having a real wage increase in 50 years. But nah, it's just a silly cartoon of a lazy spin-off. They can't be saying anything meaningful. The Star family is just a bunch of idiots. Okay everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't, then dislike it and let me know why in the comments down below. This is Jack turning off the TV. See you next time, and have a wonderful day.